Hi everyone, welcome to my Easter 2023 decor. Um, I started decorating for Easter this year. This is my entryway to my apartment. Now there are a couple things that I still need to get done, like fill up that mug and fill some of that empty space that I have there next to that gingerbread carrot. Um, like I said, I do live in an apartment, so some of the things that I can do are very limited. But if you would like to watch me decorate my entryway and then keep on watching. Hi everyone, my name is Gabriella and I love everything shopping, organizing, cleaning, and decorating. Here I am taking down the couple decorations that I have for St. Patty's. I try to decorate for every holiday. For my son, I love for him to be able to walk into an apartment and see the different things that I have put up for the different holidays. I don't have much when it comes to St. Patty's, but I would love to slowly start building my decoration pile so year after year I can have more and more things to put up. So here I am showing you a Disney Zone sign that my boyfriend has 3D printed for me. He is absolutely amazing and he knows how much I love Disney. So he 3D prints these signs for me. I just tell him the color scheme that I'm going to use for my decorations and he prints them out. And I absolutely love them because I will put them in a tiered tray or I will put them in just different parts of my entryway or my other table that you'll soon see in my dining room slash area in my apartment so I absolutely love these signs they're super cute small and perfect for tear tray so right now I am dusting off my runner I am going to grab my Mrs. Meyer spray and a napkin so I can wipe everything so I can just start with a nice clean slate. So as you can see, I'm just wiping down the cabinets and the glass area. And in those cabinets, I have seasonal mugs, I have Disney mugs, Disney plates, I have pictures, I also have some of the things that my son may need for his homework. In the drawers I have batteries, I have my wax warmers, so just a little bit of everything um, are in there. If you're interested to see how I organize them, please let me know in the comments below and I would love to show you. I am grabbing a stand that I bought from Macy's and the wreath that I bought from the Target dollar spot last year. I am also going to grab this adorable cute little bunny that I bought from Home Goods for $14.99. He is wearing glasses and I thought he was the cutest thing because my son and I both wear glasses so we thought it was a nice addition to our family decoration. I am also grabbing these two egg trees that I bought from Michael's last year. Um, it was after the holidays, so I know that I got them for super, super cheap. I am also just getting some ideas. Like I tend to kind of just stand back, see if I like the heights, colors, to see what I have, see what I can play with. During this video, you are going to see that I tend to move things around play with things, see what I like, see what I don't like, just to kind of get some ideas. I didn't plan any of this beforehand, so you are seeing me do this live and kind of playing with certain things that I have. Now I still need more decorations. You'll see at the end that I have some missing pieces that I would like to get filled. Now that gingerbread I bought this year, I know the whole gingerbread just was crazy this year I started late so I just started collecting this year that gingerbread I bought that I believe at my home goods here for I believe $24.99 I could be wrong 
but it was either from 20 to $30, no more than that. And he, that gingerbread is one of about 10 that I was able to find this year. Now, if you would like to see my whole gingerbread collection that I have so far, please let me know in my comments below. And I would love to show you a gingerbread haul that I had for this year. So there you can see me that I grabbed two more trees. I tried putting them next to each other, but I didn't like the way that they looked. So I grabbed these two floral kind of arrangements that are sitting in an egg. So I also put them there, kind of see, stepped back, didn't like the way they looked. So I placed them in this Ray Dunn basket that I bought last year and it says hop. And I just thought it was just missing something. And I really wanted to bring some of that orange that was from the gingerbread house. So I knew that I had carrots somewhere in my decorations. And I knew that I had a, a carrot garland. So I grabbed that. And I am going to put that in the basket to kind of balance the orange from the other side to the basket. Here you also see me grabbing a garland. Now this is just different florals with eggs that I'm just placing there to kind of just give it a little bit like a different look to make it a little fuller as well. So here you see me with the carrot garland that I was talking about. I'm trying to detangle this. Last year I kind of just put it in my storage container. I wish I would have put it in like a Ziploc bag or just been a little bit better with putting things away. Um, I normally do put everything in nice Ziploc bags just to have everything individually wrapped, but I don't know, I guess I just must have just thrown that in there last year. So it was a little tangled, but nothing too bad. Um, I was able to put it in that Ray Dunn basket that I was talking about, and I think it made like a nice, it balanced the other orange side. Um, I'm all about symmetry and just making everything look balanced. I like to have pairs of things or at least try to make sure that both sides are even, if that makes sense. So there, I just grabbed a Ray Dawn mug. I stuffed it with newspaper or tissue just to kind of, so I didn't have to fill it up from all the way from the bottom. I put these Target Dollar Spot carrots that I bought last year. I had a set of three white ones. Now I knew I had orange ones laying around. I also had another mug that I am going to stuff with newspaper. Now I couldn't find those orange carrots that I was talking about. So I brought over a bag of Easter eggs that I had and I thought maybe I can fill that in the mugs to see how they looked. But I just didn't like the way that they looked. So I kind of didn't put those and then I tried the one carrot and then the other mug having two and I didn't like that either. So I was just playing around to see what I can put in there and that's when I realized that it's okay that I didn't, that I'm not going to be able to finish today as long as I can find some orange carrots to put in there later. I am bringing a bunny with a little basket. I do like to have something as soon as I walk in the door somewhere where I can put my keys or my wallet. I like just having, knowing that it's there. It's, I know that I can always find my keys. So I tend to either put a bowl or something that I can put, just small little things as soon as I walk in the door. And my son does the same, or at least he knows where to grab my keys if I ever need him to do it. There, I am just putting these small little like um, tear tray de decor that I bought from the Target Dollar Spot. I also brought over some Disney spatulas that maybe I thought could go into that mug that I was missing the carrots, but I didn't really like that. Um, so I took them back um, and I'm just playing around with just little different things to see what, what I can put to fill some of that space that I have just empty that I still need. Now that is a Ray Dunn salt and pepper. It is that like more like a greenish color. 
that I thought would look super cute there. And there I'm just kind of putting a mental note of what I need that if I go out these next couple of days to look for it or if I'm in my garage and I see another Easter um, storage container that I can look in there. Now I know I have orange carrots, but if not, I know that I could probably find something at Home Goods or the Target dollar spot this year. And that is my Easter decor 2023. If you liked what you were watching, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell to get notified of when I will post more videos. Definitely more videos are coming. This is new to me and I hope that you enjoy. Please leave me a comment on things that you would like to know prices on or if you have any ideas. Please, I hope I can, I inspire you to just start decorating. It doesn't have to be big. It doesn't have to take long. It took me about 15, 20 minutes to do this. So thank you for watching.